This video is sponsored by JNC Collectibles website at jnccollectibles.com. Be sure to check them out for all your TCG needs from sealed products to sleeves to play mats. Link is in the description box below. Thank you and back to the video. Hello everybody, it's Sean Pim from JNC. Who am I here with and what did you do today? Uh, Adrian Gonzalez. I lost the top 32. I won a mat though. Uh, Alright, uh, any shoutouts before we begin? Yeah, shout out to uh, Corey and Danielle. Shout out to Leo and Crystal. Shout out to Frank and Vidmar, Jib, Enzo, uh, shout out to Bill, definitely not the guy behind the camera, and uh, Susie for also making it uh, Alright, and what did you play? I played uh, Pure Snake Eye. Let's get into like it. Some good. Uh, three Ash, Two Frontler, Oak. Just like the standard stuff. Uh, I did try cutting this to one for like a bit. Uh, it's just like the second one helps like push through hand traps randomly. Like uh, the lines, like without this card, were like already like decent, and also just like the uh, the better. Uh, this card is just too crazy though. Uh, three Dibo, three Wanted, three Gunfire. It's like standard stuff. That one for one, three Cross Up. Main deck called by, I still really like it. Uh, two talents, uh, Prosperity. So I. It like works as like another engine card, and then you have like cross out for prosperity. Cause sometimes your your hands are like really good. You push through like the one hand trap, but then you're not playing the mirror. So like being able to hit this, you just like hurt their consistency and like board breaker potential. Like pretty good. Uh, won me a game versus like Tempai. Cause if he if he prosperity hits any starter, I lose that game immediately. Uh, but I just cross it out and he loses. That's fire. Yeah, he was not happy. He was like, that's so crazy. Why like, you decide to play one for one? I saw everybody cutting it. One for one? Uh, you, you like cut it and like, uh, did like 40 build. Which is funny, because like you could just cut these and it's like 40. But I, I just think like, more engines like, really good. Because like, Snake Eye Ash plays like, into like, the Snake Eye board like, pretty well. So like, more engine and like, some like, non-engine is like, good. Uh, that guy's crazy, he plays like 20 non-engine for some reason. <laughs> I, I, like, I like more engine. Uh, then like hand traps, uh, Valor, Emperor, uh, Two Mourner, Nib, and that. Uh, I respect this more than like Ogre or like Bell for like cross out. Uh, this card was pretty good. Uh, and then like these are just like the best ones. Uh, this card was definitely like pretty good. I'm not like too crazy convinced it should be in like the main deck because like when you go first it's like definitely a hit or miss like if you set up something then the card's good but like when you are like completely stopped like it's not feels so good so good uh, so it was definitely like really really good like when you went second though because then like chances are you're gonna set up something and like you just break your opponent's board so 42 card main deck yeah 42 cards uh, extra deck uh, 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 for like the standard stuff is just like same thing everybody else plays. And then for the two flex spots, Typhon, I really like this card. Uh, I think it opens up like some lines when you like break boards and stuff. And then like for the 15 slot, it was like Good Night. Uh, this could like be like a few different things. I just went with like the safe pick of like, okay, this is like at worst a throwaway link to like preserve these two. Uh, it makes some end boards through hand traps like pretty good where you like have to like uh, Promethean revive something, sack it off for Flamberg link into IP and then Flamberg revives too, you can make this. So it makes those end boards like way better. Um, it came up as like the third like fire link too to like link off this, which like isn't usually an issue. But like it does like come up sometimes, so like it was like good by some of few times. You didn't like Puzzle Mina? Uh, I just didn't like that. It, like kind of disrespected hand traps. Uh, I think like it was probably better to like pick a card that played better when you got hand trap. And also like I just figured like okay like instead of like trying to end on Hope Arbinger more often, I just stand by bring that up if I ever get, got to combo and if they activate change of far I, I just activate it get rid of my oppo just like take that out to it because like if you set up a board like you're probably fine oh let's do the side deck 
appreciate you. Uh, so another new. Uh, I just like wanted people to like respect the card. I even played on a, on a new beer play mat because like it's a lot harder for like these like low impact band traps to have an impact when your opponent isn't respecting the biggest threat of hand traps, which is this card. Metatronus, uh, mainly a cross out target, also like Briggs Sports, which is like pretty good. Uh, yeah, no complaints. No complaints. Uh, the other two droplet. Uh, so, like, I didn't play like Bestios at all. Uh, I just found like those were like ended up pre being pretty bad because at first they were good uh, because Voiceless like didn't respect them, then like you, you hit Brandon and stuff. Uh, but like as voices like adjusted like those cards just like never did anything so it was really just for branded and like you could sign them in in the mirror but I don't even like that uh, so this card is just like really really good because it hits everything everything that's like for sure not the mirror you hit then I even like I'd say it in like a second one versus the mirror it's like it's like because against the mirror you like have a lot more like board breakers. Uh, I wouldn't say that in against the mirror. I'd say in these against the mirror because like this card was like gaining popularity and like everybody has like three skill drain on their side, so like they'd have like six cards that like get on the board. You, you uh, so like this card is like pretty good. Like if registered. they don't draw, you like hit their SP like after you hand trap them. Then if they draw back row, you hit the back row. So it's like Master nice. uh, this card is just, like I, I really like this card. It's always a must. Every time I draw, I feel like I win that game. Win a match and Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. Uh, you like to get registered so like, uh, for any of those? This um, was like a two-card package for Sunday. like versus Tempo. Com. So or like, instead of like trying to play Ogre and like Cosmic or like other stuff that like respect that matchup, I just like played like generically good cards. So like instead of like playing 2 deep barrier, just like went in against like other decks too. And like you expect to get hand tried versus that deck. And even if they shift there, it works to so get you this. So it's like two barrier and then like three skill drain versus that deck. And, uh, yeah, these cards were pretty good. All right, well, Adrian, congrats on your top. Sean out.